four on four after that for about 21 seconds. Shot that oh. sails wide. Centering 10th went into Warmall and just passed his stick. Now Pat Whitman going to shoot. No, he won't. Tries to cross it up there. Gets a little too much air under that. We're now for a side hockey for the next nine seconds. And then Rohar will be back out for Kentucky. I mean, if Pat Whitman's eager to shoot one and show Big Brother that he can score too. Cats back at full strength. And covered up. And Cats finally back on the power play. Twelve of six remaining here in the second period of action. Probably one of the longest periods we've seen in quite a while. Quite some time. And all these whistles, what they've done, they've taken this crowd completely out of this game, too. It's very, very quiet here at the Ice Center. We've seen very little action because of the frequent stoppages of play from the officials. Cross up, back out to the point. Schmidt, one-time opportunity. Sails just wide, though. Puck back out to the point. Here's Taylor Vitt. Nice pass down below. Oh, gets turned away. Nice kick save by McNutt. Schmidt scores from the point. And Kentucky makes it 7 to nothing with 11.37 remaining on the clock. I believe that was Schmidt from Getz and Bitt. 7-0, the Cats kick the extra point once again. Woo. You guys good? <laughs> wow, I just sprayed everybody with water. Cats win the draw and back. And finally, all of the penalties have come off the board. And we're back to finally to five-a-side hockey. Shot, Borgard saves. Graham, boy, he can fly when he gets some momentum going. Watch out. Oh, oh got a little too much going. It's <laughs> bit the dust there. Kept on his in, backside, though. kept the puck in. Now Graham in the corner. Schmidt stays out after scoring the most recent power play goal. The Cats' fourth power play goal and fifth special teams goal of the night. And Nicker with the backhanded opportunity. Saved, covered up. And we'll have a face off to the left hand side. A All nut. fans, UK and EKU alike, getting in on the uh, cha, -cha, cha cha slide, slide yes. lap. And some Deos. <laughs> no Boo Boo Zalos here tonight. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, penalty terrific coming penalty up. coming. Cats are going to go on the power play as Graham was taken down trying to make a move. So another huge ass power play chance for the Cats looking for power play goal number five on the night. Graham, good job of drawing the penalty there. Very nice. So we'll have a face off to the left hand side of McNutt. Phillips to take the draw for the Cats, and the Colonels will have control of it. Richnowski will send it the length of the ice. And Borgard will leave it for McLaughlin. McLaughlin, nice, nice. deep there. Up the left hand side. He's going to look for Phillips, but that'll drift to McNutt, and he'll just send it to the right hand side. Here's Rohar. With an opportunity. No, he, he'll send it deep, but puck sent back around. Now back out front to McLaughlin. McLaughlin had to send it back in before he coasted out of the zone. Puck finally cleared. McLaughlin will pick it up. And Hubbard be right behind him. Now here's Drew Phillips. 110 left on the nice power play. Nice movement there. Here's Rohar. He tried to get around one, couldn't do it. Now again, here's Rohar, top of the circle. He'll cross it over to McLaughlin. Puck just went a little error on the pass, though. 
In behind the net here is Rohar trying to send it out front to McLaughlin, shot from his knees, and puck finally cleared out. Nice job by the Colonel defense to get in front of their goaltender and clean out some of the garbage. Now Rohar in behind the net here. He'll send it back to Hubbard. Hubbard tries to clear the zone, fails with that. Now skating up the left-hand side, it's Beardley. And chopped out of the zone and chopped into the bench by EKU. We've lost one. Sarah's trying to do something with the puck down below. Cat's in control. Crossover. Vint shoots. Puck still alive. Backhanded. Sarah's. Sarah's gets the goal as he backhands it on the right hand side of McNutt. Just a low shot there. And Kentucky extends the lead eight to nothing with 8.44 remaining in the second period. No, 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 it's even, even. Even strength goal, 8.44 remaining. That was Saris from Vitt and Getz. That's Taylor Vitt's third assist of the night. Saris's second point. Woodward making a nice play to keep the, try and keep the puck in. Puck in behind the net here. Crossover, no, it goes between the legs of Woodward. Schmidt wants it out front. Too many defenders in the way though. Now here comes Eastern Kentucky with an opportunity. Oh, Schmidt, some physical play. Erases Ritznaski off the puck. Now out of the zone, it's a foot race. Nice play there. Here comes Graham. Oh. oh, calling him off sides. The momentum of Woodward battling with the Colonel defender pushed him into the zone before the puck did. Can't fault the effort, though, of the youngster. The rookie trying to show the dapper coach Doherty he deserves his ice time. Face off one by the Cats. Here's Saris. Played up. Seven forty-five left in the second. Eight nothing. Your score. Colonels with a chance. Centering pass. Good back check there. And Graham trying to turn the Jets on. He's all alone by himself. Gets around one and scores. <laughs> That's a case right there of Danny Graham just flat out wanting the puck more than the, than the Eastern Kentucky Colonels. The Colonels had two men back, and Graham went right between him and chased it down and made a move around McNutt to put the puck in. And with that being said, McNutt has called it a night. I think it was Graham from Saris. Yeah, you're, you're right, Aaron. That will be a goal change Devin, for Eastern. It looks like Devin, Devin Lent will go back in. He's the one. He got the start last night and gave up 11 goals before he was pulled. 7.33 remaining, nine to nothing. They're right at about their same pace as last night. Last night they scored the ninth goal at 7.43 of the second. Tonight, goal number nine at 7.33 of the second. Nice chip check down deep by the Colonel player. Penalty coming up though. And Morgan going in. Perhaps a little retaliation on the play after the check from it looked like it was number 10, Mason Duke. So the penalty fest continues here at the Lexington Ice Center. And faceoff will come to the right of Jim Borgard. Real hard to take the face off and we're gone again. We are back once again. Apologize <laughs> for the difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Morgan in the penalty box for Kentucky. So Eastern on the power play. 9 0 your score. 7 12 left in the second. And Borgard would deflect that one wide. Nice check there from Hubbard. Kentucky clears. And Lent will be back to play it for the Colonels. Now Eastern looking to set up here. 
in behind their own net.